YouTube, what's good? It's the OG back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'm doing a $100 giveaway as soon as I hit 6,000 subscribers. Also, hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. It'll take this video a mighty long way. Okay, family, I had got a package in. I unboxed it, and I looked at him. I mean, the shoe's okay, but I'm not really satisfied with them. I'll show you the shoe. Another pair pant leather green top tens these not the rbs these are the og top tens you know cop these off of ebay it's a story behind it so uh first let me go over the shoe man and show you the flaws that i'm seeing with my own eyes and right now what i'm seeing is blemish of the pant leather it's not shiny it's dull you can see that yourself the pant leather is dull. I mean, the overall shoe, it looks good. Even the soles, they still got the little bumps on the soles, you know, from a light wear or a try on. You know, I don't see no real indicating of, you know, the shoe being dogged out, you know. But what had happened when I first bought the shoe about, I want to say, a week ago on eBay. I paid my man the money, so he had to send it out to get authenticated. When it got over there to, to get authenticated, they said, oh, no, it was a problem with the shoe. Later on that day, I found out, I spoke with him, you know, on, um, you know, eBay and Messenger. He was like, oh, man, my man sent the shoe out. He made a mistake and said the shoe was DS. It was new, which the shoes are not. These are a used pair shoes you know what i'm saying they look good but they not new you know what i'm saying so yeah that's what happened so they sent the shoe back i said man you know i really want that shoe man you know he said i tell you what i'll send you some pictures and let you you know decide if you want them or not so which he did he got them and sent me the pictures and shot me a nice price so i said you know what bet i'll take them so i sent the money uh, off to him because I already got my money back when they said the shoe wasn't uh, couldn't be authenticated but yeah I bought them again for a low price uh, but uh, yeah the shoe look good man it's just my problem the pan leather is dull on this shoe you can see that right there you see where it's not shiny this shoe supposed to be shiny and you know where that come from it come from sitting in boxes for over a period of time. You cannot leave these shoes, especially a pan leather sneaker, in a sneaker box for like a year's time or six months. And you know, a lot of people got a lot of shoes like myself. We don't be thinking about them shoes, but over a period of time, they go bad on you, you know. I'm sure it's something I can find to clean. You know, if you guys know something that'll clean these pan leather. Leave your comments down below. But uh, story time, man. These shoes right here, man, back in the 80s. Man, if you had a pair of these, you was the shit. And had a nanny, a nanny goat or a sheepskin. This is my original sheepskin from 1986. Hold on, I'll show you. Let me sit these down. Oh, let's see if I can get it. This is my original sheepskin. This is a real sheepskin. Paid good money for this back in 86. I can't fit it now. Got the hat right here to go with it. You see? Man, I stayed sharp when I was back to getting money. You know what I'm saying? 86 was a good year for me, man. Ain't nothing wrong with this coat. It's just sitting down in the basement. But back to the story. You had these on. Uh, the top tens. Some pan leather tens some Levi's and a silk shirt or Adidas shirt and a campaign hat. Oh man, you couldn't tell you couldn't tell me shit back then. <laughs> For real. You know, you couldn't. I was sharp as hell. But that's back in the 80s though, bro. I come a long way. I come from um early 80s, 90s, 2000, you know, shit didn't change, man. I just seen the world change a big ass 360 shit ain't like it used to be you know you can't go out here and get money the way we used to back in the day <clears throat> that's another video <coughs> sorry 
sinus fucking with me. But yeah, times have really changed, man. But yeah, the guy did throw in uh, some white laces, which the shoe already previously came with. But he threw in some, if you can see, those are leather laces with a chrome tip, you know. Overall, the shoe's nice. The interior is nice. It's not wore down or none of that. You know, it's just, the leather is like, you know, it's not hitting right. But I'm going to find somebody. I'll probably reach out to my home girl, uh, Candy Coated Kicks. She do sneakers to see uh, if she can... Uh, get these together for me but yeah that's what came in today man i got another pair of these so i'm sitting on these in my original pairs i done had man i had like two or three pairs of these shoes man in the day i just sell them you know i kept one pair but now i got a double up you know well that's it family i would like to thank each and last one of you for tuning in in this video don't forget to subscribe. Go tell a friend to subscribe so I can hit this 6,000 subscribers and I'm doing this $100 giveaway. Everybody ain't doing that this day and time, just giving out money like that. Most people on here begging for cash apps and shit like that and donations. I don't do that shit, man. You know, I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. I'm going to give back, you know, the only way I can, you know, the only way I know how. <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. It's the OG. I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you guys again, and I'll catch you on the next one.